Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Antonio Corral Calero here backstage at Eurovision Rotterdam. Guys, I'm going to be introducing you, introducing you someone I even get nervous to talk about. <laughs> that just want to hear his voice, not just me, but everybody got goosebumps. This is John from Switzerland. Hello John, Hello. how are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing well. Thank you. And you, how are you doing? I'm so happy that you're here with me. <laughs> I really appreciate it. I appreciate it too. Well, I, to I really like you and I really like your work Just and what you do with my hair. I'm happy yeah, that you tried <laughs> it. But you have that beautiful hair. And this is what I really wanted to talk about. And how important it is for you actually to go with your naturality. And for all the young people that they're watching yeah. out there, you know, embrace. Tell me, what does it make it that give you so much power? <laughs> that look and your image and your voice. What is it? Is that curls? <laughs> Good question. Uh, I think in the beginning, I'm always. Uh, I was always like, uh, oh, why I don't have straight and blonde hair? <laughs> and now I think what what makes me feel more powerful is the fact that I love my hair and I found you. I, I found people like you who made me believe that uh, natural and uh, and especially when you know how to treat it well yeah. it could be so cool and so beautiful so that's why I mean now I'm happy to have those curly oh, hair so. that's I love it that you say it because it's so true <laughs> when I was doing his hair guys just to let you know he loved Moroccan and all and that's not a joke and I thought that he really understood that exactly that when you embrace what you have your naturality I think you got some power to it. It just like makes it to be such an statement. Yeah. And I love that we've been seeing so many young people uh, and actually yourself. What, where did you get that courage to be in front of so many people out there? And how was it that you came <laughs> to the Aerovision? Tell us a little bit the journey that took you to be until we're here. Wow, how can I uh, <laughs> do a little resume? Um, so I started uh, to make music uh, with uh, my grandfather. I mean, he was the first one who really made me believe in me. And also uh, he asked me to sing his favorite song the first time. And so he was so uh, um, emo uh, emotional that uh, that's why I wanted to have tears in my name. So that's why I'm John Steers on stage. It's because I want to have a piece of him with me. And also, um, I always had that emergency to go as fast as possible because he always told me, you uh, you will be someone super, super big, but I will be not uh, here to see you. And so that's why I always had the feeling that I need to go faster and faster. And um, now he's still here. He's he saw me and uh, yeah, he's looking at me now at Eurovision and he, could, he can be really proud of himself because without him, I wouldn't be here. So amazing. And I think the most important for me always is the most important that we empower people. I think that something stays in your mind that makes you to pursue your dream, mm. not just to show to your grandparents, but really for you. Yeah, of course. They believe on you. And I mm. think that's key, isn't it, for any successful career? Completely. Yeah, that's I mean, so beautiful. the most important thing is to assume himself and also, yeah, just like to try new things. That's also why I'm here yeah. because I love like to, to have challenges. Like normally I'm behind my piano and I really wanted to be, uh, to stand up, to try to dance, even if I'm not a dancer, but um, because I found the people around me that pushed me uh, in, a, in a positive vibe and who believes in me. And that's why I'm taking all the love people are giving me. And so that's, that's the most well, important thing. You're doing an amazing job. And what I wanted <laughs> to tell you before is like, everybody really got goosebumps when they hear you sing. It was a peaceful moment. And then you opened that amazing mouth and that energy, it went into everyone. And everybody <laughs> looked at each other and they're, you know, they're, all their hair stands out like that. <laughs> what would you say to a younger you? I would say uh, be more yourself, just try new things and don't uh, be blocked by what people think about you. Just like do whatever you want to do and enjoy. Self-expression. Yeah, completely. Tell me a little bit what was for you the first time when you arrived and you see all the contestants that they were going to participate. What was the first thought that was in your mind? I have to say they were all like with beautiful hair, <laughs> beautiful hair, <laughs> hairdresser, I mean, yeah, haircut and, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. first thing I saw. It's it's always cool because we saw them on, on a video. Yeah. And so to see each other for real, it's always weird, but it's also a way to realize uh, where we are and what we are doing. So that's that's just crazy. And I think so important in those times when people are really, really watching mm. and they still, you know, in the lockdown in some areas, I think you're doing guys something that is really gonna lift up the spirit to so many people. <laughs> and in behalf of Moroccan all and myself, we wanted to say thank you. Thanks to you. I'm gonna be doing your hair for sure. Oh, nice. Actually, we're gonna be here for uh, the next week. Nice. So I promise you, I'm gonna be pampering you. Thank you so much. We love you very you. much and good luck. I love you too. Thank you. Bye.